This is a tutorial on how to create a page for your WordPress blog. Um, here I am in my dashboard and I'm going to go ahead and open up my blog in a new tab. You can see that I've got my posts here and for my personal menu in order to get to see my pages I actually have to go click on this to toggle button that kind of pulls it out. Um, yours may be similar, your may, yours may be different, uh, depends on your theme, uh, which theme you have. You may already see some, uh, a home page or an about page or whatnot. Um, you may not see anything. Um, and so, mine here, I have the home and the about page. Um, this about page is something that was just a sample page that they gave me. Um, it wasn't anything that I created, but um, what I am going to do is I'm going to make sure that this has content on it so that when somebody goes to my website, it's not just a blank page. So when I go to edit page, all I have to do in my, uh, in my dashboard is click on pages. And when you get there, you should see your page there. Um, just click edit. And from there, you can go ahead and start editing whatever page they already gave you. Um, if you were on WordPress and they did not give you a page, all you have to do is just click add new and you're basically in the same window I am where you're creating your page. Uh, you can create whatever page you want to. Um, I would recommend creating an about page um, and or maybe a contact page or resources page or links page. Um, but in some way you need to have some kind of page for this uh, blog. So I'm going to go ahead and press, you know, I'm going to call it about, and then I'm going to give it, you know, this is my sample page. I'm going to replace this with text, um, paragraph, um, maybe a paragraph about yourself, um, a little bit about maybe where you're from and what your interests are um, outside of this blog, and then um, maybe another paragraph describing uh, why you chose this blog and um, what makes you interested in it and things like that. So uh, we're looking on the page, um, it should look very much like a post. Um, it's going to be graded as if it was a post, um, even though it is a page. Um, it's going to be required to have an image and a link, just like all of your other posts. Um, and it's going to have to have about three paragraphs of content. Whatever, Again, whatever you want to make this page to be, totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and press update. And when I do that, um, you're not really going to see much of a change because I didn't update a whole lot. But you may now, when you create the page and press update, now you may see it show up somewhere on your blog. If you still don't see it show up on your blog, that's completely fine. Uh, depending on your theme, you'll have to go to Appearance, and then you'll have to click on Menus. And what um, a lot of themes require you to do is to create a menu. And you can think of this as basically a navigation. When you're creating a menu, um, it gives you full control over what you see when that menu pops up. So, so far, if I didn't create a menu, it would just kind of go in order of whichever pages I created. Um, I wouldn't have a whole lot of control. Um, but if you still don't see a menu, um, go ahead and click on Appearance, Menus, and now you'll see that now I can move my menus around. I can make it um, Home and then About or About and then Home. I don't really want to do that. Um, but in order for anything to show up, you actually have to give it a menu name. So I'm going to call this Main Menu. And I'm going to go ahead and create the menu. And now what happens is this little tab pops up. You'll see it says Manage Locations. And from here, um, you can choose uh, which location you want that particular menu to go to. So for my blog, I only have one menu location, and that is what's called my primary location. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make my main menu that I just created go ahead and show up in my primary menu location. Now, if you see other locations here, you might have a footer menu that you could create or another, maybe a sidebar menu. Um, what theme, themes often have different areas of menus. I'm sure you've seen maybe at the bottom where it has a different menu, like a site map or something, um, or on the left, you might see a different menu, but every single blog will have uh, this primary menu option, and that's where you're gonna wanna put the menu that you just created. I'm gonna go ahead and press Save Changes, and now I'm gonna go back to my editing my menu. Now if I move my about um, above my home page and I saved it and I refreshed it in the browser you can see that when I pull the drawer out now it says about and then home I just rearranged those um, that's the only way that you can do that is through the um, menus option and I'm going to move that back if your menu if your theme supports drop downs you can take a menu item and pull it out you can see that it's uh, tabbed over now and what that'll do is again if your theme supports a drop down then when you do the refresh 
and you pull that drawer out, this now would, would probably show up as a drop down. If it were in my navigation up here, it would probably drop down. So other things that you can do within this um, within this menu, it, just, it doesn't just let you add pages and rearrange them, although you can click view all and then you could look at all the different pages. Um, if you can't find your pages, just click view all and then they'll all pop up there. Um, you could also create links, and so I could send a link to um, my Twitter account if I wanted to. Not that I really want to because um, you should have that widget on there anyway, but I'm going to go ahead and create a link to Twitter. Um, you could also put that in your in your menu structure if you want to. Um, you could also create categories, and that's really useful for um, if you wanted certain blog posts to happen on different pages, um, you could create different categories for them to go into. And so let me go to the SJMC blog here. You can see that when I go to that blog, on my home page of this blog, every single post pops up on the home page. But if I wanted just posts that had to do with alumni, I could click on the alumni, and you can see that these are now all posts that have to do with alumni. Um, and I know that it's a category because up here in the address bar it says category, and then it's all the items that had to do with alumni, I added that. So I, you could also, you know, faculty is another example of that. It's got, um, this is kind of a mixture of pages and the categories. So again, if you're working with your menu and you want different blog posts to go to different pages, you can do that. Um, you'd have to go to your posts. And let me stay on that page real quick. It wants me to save it first. I'm going to go ahead and go to my posts. Um, for example, if I wanted this DIY Halloween costume idea to go to a certain category, I could add that category. Um, and I could call this um, holidays. So if I wanted uh, to create a holidays DIY page, I could do that by going to back to my um, appearance. I'll go to my menus. And so now I have a page called holidays. It's a category. I'm going to add that to the menu. And so I could have a whole, if I wanted a whole page to, of holiday um, DIY projects, I could do that. Now, um, I would I could rearrange these again. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now, when I refresh it in this browser, I'm going to go ahead press refresh. Um, whoops, that was the wrong one. Now, when I drop that down, I've got all these different options. So 